This news update is brought to you by. So, I'm meeting Rico later. Gotta check in with the girls, but first, let me check my usage on the MyLime app. Now, what should I wear? <laughs> Hashtag sexy. He's here. It's Wednesday, April the 1st, 2015, and this is your Barbados Today Morning News Update. I'm Emmanuel Joseph. Good morning, and thanks for joining us. We begin with news that teachers at the Parkinson Memorial Secondary School will not be taking part in any boycott of the Caribbean Examinations Council over pay. Principal Jeff Broome said he met with his teachers Tuesday, and a decision was made that they would be correcting CXC school-based assessments, or SBAs, as usual. The Barbados Secondary Teachers Union recently announced that its members will no longer be correcting SBAs without pay, as performing this task represented an additional responsibility. The decision is effective from this academic year. However, speaking to the media at his Pine St. Michael's school yesterday morning, Broom said while he could not tell teachers at other schools what to do, he could give an assurance that Parkinson teachers would carry out their responsibilities, and he is assisting that marking SBAs is part of teachers' duties. I do not understand how SBAs are due in April, yeah. and you're going to say in March that you're not correcting them. And these, they are about 20 somebody Caribbean countries that are part of uh, um, CXC and the only children who are supposed to suffer are Barbadian children. I hear from the place else, only Barbadian children should be compromised. That says a lot to me and, I, and I'm not pleased. I'm not pleased that of the book but God. Because our children, how can how Jamaican children suffering, St. Lucian children suffering, Trinidadian children suffering, Barbadian children. And the Ministry of Education is this morning issuing a warning to teachers. If you refuse to mark school-based assessments, you could face disciplinary action. In a strongly worded statement, the Ministry said failure on the part of the teachers to submit final marks for students' SBAs would amount to a dereliction of duty, as it described the stance taken by the Barbados Secondary Teachers Union and the Barbados Union of Teachers as unreasonable. The ministry also cautioned that such a move would have serious ramifications for students taking the Caribbean Secondary Examination Certificate, or CSEC, and the Caribbean Advanced Proficiency Examinations, or CAPE, with an SBA component. The BSTU has been demanding compensation from the regional examining body, that's the Caribbean Examinations Council, arguing that SBAs are an additional responsibility and the accompanying workload was above and beyond the normal duties of teachers preparing students for their final examinations. However, the Ministry of Education is contending that SBAs, which represent between 15 to 40 percent of the final grade, forms part of the teaching and assessment duties, characteristic of the teaching profession. Meanwhile, Education Minister Ronald Jones is saying there are sexual predators, both male and female, within the island's school system. Addressing yesterday's Lodge School Speech Day, Jones issued a stern warning that the authorities intended to come down heavily on the culprits. In a fiery speech, he said the ministry would be adopting a policy of zero tolerance towards any teacher found guilty of sexually exploiting students. The minister bemoaned the fact that he was recently sent a pornographic video of a 13-year-old girl being sexually assaulted by an adult. Should a 13-year-old who should be in school learning, trying to change or adjust her life chances or her life opportunities be sexually bludgeoned? That, that's a question that I ask, and it's a question that caring human beings in this society should also ask. And even if she were in fact 16, should she be bludgeoned 
sexually bludgeoned. And her face and her form displayed. But yet, you can't see the face of the male. And I've seen too many of those to be comfortable. In sports now, legendary West Indies cricketer Sir Kirtley Ambrose is laying blame for the collapse of regional cricket squarely at the door of the West Indies Cricket Board. The WICB's territorial partners, however, did not get away unscathed. Fielding questions from the audience at this week's start of the 16th Annual Secondary Schools Leadership Symposium in Trinidad and Tobago, entitled Think Big, Start Small, Ambrose said if regional officials had an uplifting vision for the future of the sport, they would have put systems in place to ensure cricket retained pride of place. There's regional and international news after this short break. Secure your future, be financially strong. Since 1983, we have been there for you. A smart range of products, great tax benefits. We're the solution to your hopes and your dreams. The Barbados Workers Union Cooperative Credit Union. The Barbados Workers Union Cooperative Credit Union. The humble beginnings to smart loans, smart savings. Stay smart and borrow smarter. That's the move for me. Stability, prosperity. We're the solution to your hopes and your dreams. The Barbados Workers Union Cooperative Credit Union. The Barbados Workers Union Cooperative Credit Union. Welcome back with news from the region of a major shakeup in the leadership of the Royal St. Lucia Police Force. But the Police Welfare Association says it is not surprised to learn of the looming changes. The association's president said officers were expecting change in the wake of the release of some of the findings of the investigation into the police killings of 2010 to 2012. According to reports, Deputy Police Commissioner Frances Henry will return to her former post of Assistant Commissioner of Police with Responsibility for Crime, while Acting ACP Morshiri will be promoted to Acting Deputy Police Commissioner. The Police Welfare Association has shrugged off the reported changes at the helm. President Cameron Law says they are neither distressing nor surprising. The, the Prime Minister's pronouncements, he did mention some changes. Um, and there are always changes within the police force. Every now and then you hear, you know, certain changes are being are taking place. Um, it is not, especially where transfers are concerned, it is not something that the Welfare Association, unless it is something where a member could prove or show that he has been discriminated against or it is a malicious transfer, then the Police Welfare Association, by virtue of the Police Act, we cannot interfere in matters of transfers. On the international scene now, Arkansas Governor Asa Hutchinson is to announce today whether he will sign a bill similar to a new Indiana law that opponents say opens the door to discrimination against gays and lesbians. Meanwhile, his Indiana counterpart, Mike Spence, has a pledge to fix Indiana's controversial religious freedom of law to clarify that it does not allow discrimination against gays and lesbians. And let me say on the the subject of the bill itself. I don't believe for a minute that it was the intention of the General Assembly to create a license to discriminate or a right to deny services to gays, lesbians, or anyone else in this state. And it certainly wasn't my intent. But I can appreciate that that's become the perception, not just here in Indiana, but all across this country. And we need to confront that and confront it boldly in a way that respects the interests of all involved. And that's our Barbados Today morning news update. You can join us again, though, this afternoon. Until then, remember to log on to www.barbadastoday.bb, subscribe to our e-paper and email updates, or like us on Facebook. You can also catch us on Izumi Media in bus terminals or screenplay at supermarkets and gas stations near you. Also tune into Channel 101 on Lime TV and Mix 96.9 FM to get all the latest news and sports. I'm Emmanuel Joseph. Have a fantastic day. This news update.
brought to you by so i'm meeting rico later gotta check in with the girls but first let me check my usage on the my Lime app now what should i wear <laughs> hashtag sexy he's here